To finish our new video, we've come to Guildford for a very special loft visit. This is Steve Howard, first SMT Combine Bordeaux 1998. Good evening Steve. Good evening Keith. Welcome to Guildford. Yep. Nice to be here mate. It's a nice part of the world Guildford isn't it? Yeah, very nice. I must say you've got a wonderful outlook here. Yeah. Congratulations on winning the combine from Bordeaux. Thanks Keith. You had a golden fortnight didn't you? Yeah, I won the oh, second London and South East Classic Gill in Derby the week before. Yeah. And won the uh, combine from Bordeaux with the SMT a week later. Absolutely brilliant mate. How long have you been in sport? Uh, just over 20 years. Yeah. What's the circumstances of starting up? Uh, that was a friend of mine and his dad started me up with a loft and about 10 pairs of pigeons. Yeah. Um, another old Guildford fancier. Yeah. What sort of distance do you like racing your pigeons? Uh, anywhere from 250 mile out to the, the distance. So long, long, long distance? Long distance. Yeah. What's one or two of your best performances? Um, Apart from the combine win and the classic win, I was fourth in the classic year in Derby the year before with a pigeon the same way bred. Yeah. Uh, 24th open Poe, single entry, taken several uh, national positions over the last few years. And yeah. Anything from the distance, I'll have a, a go at anyway. Yeah. Do you like club racing? Uh, I do like club racing, but I mainly use it for training over the last two or three years. Yeah, just for long distance in the classics. That's right, yeah. Just uh, a few Weymouths to get the youngsters going and then they even go over the water. This is your combine we're in, Steve? Yes. So, what has he brought up to win the combine from Bordeaux? Um, I think he had two Weymouths and an Exeter. The Yearling Derby, a fortnight before the um, Bordeaux race and straight back into Bordeaux. Yeah, brilliant. How was he sent to Bordeaux? Unpaired. Yeah. Racing to his box. Yeah. Was he? Um, has he had babies this year? Has he been paired up? No, never been paired. Oh, man, that's incredible, isn't it? What family is he? He's half Eric Cannon of Wormley and half Mr. and Mrs. Newman of Petersfield. Yeah, he's lovely cock. What uh, system was he raced on as a young bird? Then was he a very good, very good young bird? He was a, a very consistent young bird. Yeah. He just raced to a perch. Yeah, so he's a bit exceptional, him, mate, really, because he's had no incentive, really, and he's come out and won the combine. Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely brilliant. Really keen on his box. Yeah. How many hours was he flying from the Bordeaux? Ten hours, four minutes. Yeah. Great thrill cocking him in, mate, on the day. Very, very pleased when he dropped. A lot, lot of uh, side wind that day. What system you race your old birds on in, Steve? Purely natural. Yeah, what's that? Just for the long distance? Just for the long distance. Yeah. Have you ever tried Woodward? I tried it one season only and took five firsts. Yeah. But I, I couldn't get them you know, to perform as I wanted to from over the water. Yeah. When did you pair up? Uh, first week in March. Yeah. And how many pairs do you keep on the natural? Fifteen pairs. Yeah. How about training them? I train them about three 50 mile tosses in the middle of March, getting them ready for the uh, club races towards the middle of April. Yeah, and how far they race? They, they race right through uh, to Bordeaux, Poe and some selected for Palamos. And obviously yearlings go through to Bordeaux because you won the combine when you're here. Yeah, that's right. I like to get the Bordeaux. I think they're a good pigeon for Bordeaux. Yeah. What's your favourite nest condition for sending them for the long distance then? Um, I like hens sitting 16 to 18 days, cockbirds driving or sitting up to about two or three days. Yeah. How about feed? Would you feed them? They're fed on a good sound mix, beans, maize, peas, and the hopper fed food all the time. Yeah, do you um, add anything to the corn for the long distance? No, no additives. It's the same mixture all the year round. Probably a little bit of barley added during the uh, winter months. Yeah, do you split them up in the winter? I part them about two weeks before they, they are, uh, go to pair. Steve has a very smart setup here at Guildford. The small shed in the corner of the garden contains a few young birds and the main racing loft is 18 foot long. It has three sections, two for racers, one for stock birds, and all the pigeons are trapped through Sputnik traps. He also keeps a few 
young birds and stock birds and a small shed in the corner of the garden. And this is the scene inside one of Steve's natural old bird sections. Why was your combine winner sent to Bordeaux unpaired then, Steve? Well, I've had hawk trouble this season. They've taken one cock and 11 hens, so all the yearling cocks are unpaired. Yeah, have you had previous problems with hawks? For the last two years, yeah, I've lost 14 one year, 18 another. That was actually to crows. Yeah, God, unbelievable. Yeah. Did the combine winner have an S box then? Yeah, they saw, he just said his an S box, he was really keen to get home to his box. Just a box didn't wind him up? No, I just just a box. He was dead keen, frightened other cock birds were going to use it. Yeah, I notice you don't clean the lofts out. No, I haven't cleaned them out now for the past few years. Oh well, once a year, that's yeah. all. And uh, I think it disturbs the pigeons whilst racing. Yeah, what, what cleaning them out? You mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. don't clean out all the time they're racing or breeding their babies. I must say, mate, they do look well. Yeah, I think they look better for it. Yeah, yeah, because it's dry, isn't it? It's bone dry. This is a nice blue cock, Steve. What's this one? This is a Bill Johnson Bushar. Yeah, and was he one? Uh, he's won third club, set out for three minutes, went on to win second Open London and South East Classic, Yearling Derby. That's Nance. That's Nance. Yeah. How was he sent to Nance then? Paired for the first time in his life. I borrowed a stock hen to pair him to. Yeah, so you just pair him up for that event? Just for that event, yeah, yeah. set in 18 days. What famous of pigeons you raced then, Steve? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Newman of Petersfield and Eric Cannon of Wormley. Yeah, both top fanciers. Both very good fanciers. Eric's won the Langston Gold Cup five times from Poe, and I believe Murray Newman's won Dax flying over 500 miles 14 times in the club. Unbelievable performance. He's got some good performances from um, Bordeaux. Was it Bordeaux or Barcelona? Barcelona. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. I believe he's won Barcelona three times with different clubs. Yeah, unbelievable performances. Do you cross the two families together? Yeah, I do cross the two families together and I find that they cross very well. Yeah. A nice type of pigeon. Yeah, when you go out and buy a stock bird, what do you look for? I look for the right type of pigeon, which I find that uh, both of those fanciers have got. And I like a nice broad-shouldered pigeon. Yeah. And obviously one with plenty of... Um, Sense and heart. Yeah. How many stock birds you keep? I keep five pairs of stock. Yeah, not many. Not many, no. Uh, five of Eric's, five of Mr. and Mrs. Newman's. Yeah, and when do you pair them up? First week in March. This is one of Steve's main stock hens. Been retired to the stock loft after a wonderful racing career. She was full open from Angers with the London and South East Classic last season. That's a beautiful cock, Steve. What's this one? That's a Dilding Cross Barker. Yeah. Was he another natural cock? Another natural pigeon. What's he won? He's won first mile man as a yearling, only bird on the day in the club. He's been first bird rack. He's been second bird rack twice. He's flown pove five times, been 24th open as an eight year old. Absolutely brilliant. He's getting on a bit now, isn't he? He's 12 now. Yeah, beautiful pigeon. Looks like the old dawn, isn't he? Lovely. Good looking cop. What's his best nest condition? Sitting over due eggs. Yeah, lovely. Great old pigeon, mate. All right, Steve, thanks very much for having me around tonight, mate. Your pigeons are credit too. I've really enjoyed the loft visit. It's nice to see you, Pete. Cheers, mate. Steve Howard. First SMT combine Bordeaux, 1998.